This is numbers one and two on the study guide. <coughs> what we have on number one is that we have a radius and it's attached to a tangent that comes here, which means we get a right angle whenever we have a radius and a tangent, they form a right angle. So we have a triangle here that's obviously a right triangle. So we're going to use Pythagorean theorem to solve for this x. So when we have Pythagorean theorem, it's the leg squared plus the leg squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared or the longest side. And so then we can clean this up. We can do 96 squared in our calculator. So we have x squared plus 9,216 is equal to, and then if you need to, you can do 100 squared in your calculator, which would be 10,000. And then what you'll do is subtract 9,216 from both sides. Those will cancel, leaving you with x squared equals. And when we subtract 9,216 from 10,000, we get 784 equals x squared. And then the opposite of squaring is square rooting. So we're going to take the square root of both sides. So then when we take the square root of uh, 784, we get that x is going to be 28 units. <coughs> On number two, it says that we have a swimming pool and we're standing 36 feet away from a circular swimming pool. So that means we're right here. The distance from the point of tangency to the pool is 48 feet as shown. And so what we're trying to find is the radius. And again, remember, this is the idea of Pythagorean theorem. If the radius and the tangent line come together, they form a right angle. So it's going to be leg squared plus, so that's that leg squared plus the other leg squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. Now notice the hypotenuse is this whole thing. It's the r plus the 36. So that whole hypotenuse needs to be in a parentheses squared. Now we clean this up. So we have r squared plus, we'll use our calculator to do 48 squared, which is 2,304 equals. What we're going to do here is FOIL this out. Now when you FOIL it out, remember that's going to be like r plus 36 times r plus 36. It's the same thing times itself. So we're just going to bring everything down here on the left equals first terms would be r times r, which is r squared. So in my class we talked about how it kind of makes a moon. So there's r. And then we have outside terms, which would be r times 36, which would be that one which would give me 36r. Then we have the inside terms, 36 times r, which is 36r. And then we have the last term, so you can kind of see them in there, uh, which would be 36 squared. So 36 times itself is 1,296. Now let's clean this up. We have r squared plus 2,304 equals r squared. This here in the middle, 36r plus 36r gives me 72r plus 1,296. And then what we're going to do is we're going to subtract off the r squareds to combine them. And fortunately, that means that they both cancel here. What that leaves me with is 2,304 is equal to 72r plus 1,296. So we're going to take that 2,304 minus 1,296. And that's going to leave me with 1,008 is equal to 72r. Now when we divide both sides by 72, they'll cancel on the right, and then the radius is going to be 14, and don't forget our unit feet.